if you've seen our first National Park series, especially our time in the Grand Canyon and Canyonlands, you've probably heard us talk about John Wesley Powell. I first heard about him in Hazardous Tales, the graphic novel history series we love. It's definitely for older kids and parents will want to check the back of the book to see if it's something you'd approve of. But anyway, it was really cool to read the book about his adventures and visit the same place he explored. Cause like mom always says, it's like time traveling. So here's a quick look at who John Wesley Powell is and what he's known for. Born in 1834, Powell pretty much loved geology and exploration his entire life. When he was 21, he walked across Wisconsin. It took four months, which is about how long it feels when you're driving through today. The next year, he rode down the Mississippi from St. Anthony right here in the Twin Cities to the Gulf of Mexico and took on a few other rivers over the next few years. He fought for the Union Army in the Civil War, and he lost his right forearm during the Battle of Shiloh. He later returned to service and became a major in an artillery brigade. After the war, he got back to exploring, and his most famous adventure was an expedition in, in 1869 with nine other men starting from Wyoming. They took four boats down to the Green River to where it meets the Colorado River, which is in Moab and Canyonlands National Park, if you were wondering, and went all the way to the Virgin River in the Grand Canyon. It was legendary. They lost two boats, were almost drowned, and Powell was even saved from falling to his death by a pair of underwear. And then there's the mystery of three of the men who left the team but were never seen again. Two years later, he returned with funding from Congress, a photographer, and a larger team to better scientifically survey the area. He journaled during the expeditions and later published a book about it. He went on to be the director of the U.S. Geological Survey from 1881 to 1894. He died in 1902, but his legacy lives on in different ways. He named Glen Canyon on his journeys, and Lake Powell in that same area is named after him. He is buried in Arlington National Cemetery. Thanks for time traveling with us. To read more about John Wesley Powell, follow the links in the description. And if you missed our first time travel video, check it out here. And we'll see you later.